Good morning, day 139, and slept well here. Um, anyway, it was a good night sleep. Wish I could have been a little longer sleep, but in any case, today we do Mahusik Notch. So, climb up out of here, point three, and then back on the trail. There's not much water, so we have to carry water. So that's going to make it heavier, but moving on. Pretty view up here. Pretty hard on my legs climbing. I'm pretty exhausted. Just choking back tears. We, got, we have like five miles, I think, to the Mahusik Notch, and I have to try to keep up with them if I want someone to go through it with. I'm already feeling it. Yeah, those rungs are perfect. Look at the pro, go for it. Nope, keep filming. You're going up next. Oh dear. Fun. It feels like five, ten minutes ago we were at the top of that one. Now, almost at the top of this one. Good to go. Already part way down a pretty steep part. Your shoes are so grippy. Well, it feels cooler already. We're entering a Hoosick Notch. I'm not sure if I even said that right, but we'll see. There's snow and ice down here. It's cool. And, whoa, sorry. This one was fine. You had a blade in front of you, Kelly? There's a blade in that rock. Yes. I think it's worn off, but... Yeah. You see it? Okay. 
I just think I see where it should have been stuck there. Yeah. guys so I think we entered the Mahusik notch around 9 45 10 o'clock and I think it almost took about two hours those guys would have been way faster but Papa Bear led and lightning took the back and coached me through some of the hard parts they, they can just jump and take big risks and I'm too scared to do that claustrophobia and fear of heights there's a lot of just uh, strong pulling up and my muscles are shot now I have to climb the Hoosick arm which is like 1400 up in like one mile and 1.4 something like that so this is a beast so I'm sitting on a rock right now right here just ate a snack and I'm not gonna hurry thankfully today the goal is a shelter just after the summit, I guess a mile after the summit here. So that'll be good. I need a break. I need a rest. Take some take a nap, catch up on my sleep. Been some hard pushes lately, even though we are at a hostel. I did not get the rest of the hostel. Because I spent all the day hiking. And then doing chores but in any case in Maine it's brutal and yeah hey guys, they so all, I'm still climbing this arm up Mahusik arm after the notch and coming down I met a brother and sister Matthew and Andrea his name was anonymous and um, I don't know why her name keeps evading me. Bugs Bunny, I think. I'm sorry, I might have got that wrong, Andrea. Anyway, they spent a good half hour talking with uh, with me. And let me catch my breath, because climbing this has been hard, brutal. In fact, they have a dog with them. I don't even know how the dog can get down this, and how they're going to take that dog through the notch, but... Where there's a will, there's a way, right? So, anyway, I still got so many tents to go, which is a lot when you're going straight up. I can't, I don't know if you can tell by the way the trees are growing, how, how steep this is. Very scary. My legs are rubber from the notch, and the shelter's only like a mile and a half past the top of the summit. I just have to get there. <laughs> oh, I just want a break. My legs need to recover. Well, I made it top of Mahusik Arm, finally. Uh, tomorrow, I guess we go up to Old Spec, or maybe we go there today, Old Spec Mountain. We go to Old Spec Shelter, which is before climbing that, I think. So, thank goodness, I need a break today. Hopefully I recover, because I'm feeling like I need a zero. That's how shot my legs are from this these last few really hard days. Trail. We'll see. Goes across there. <laughs> Isn't this the most beautiful waterway? 